Yo, hey everybody, I have a, uh, got another one for y'all today. You know, that me, me, and that did it situation. Basically, academic going, he going back and forth with me, me, and me, me, I guess he going back and forth with Diddy. So let's get into it now. See what's up. He did not, it, it did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the f I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo. Who you talking? Me, me? Well, of course. Helps me because you got your air in tennis. You right? You keep going. Count out loud. Count out loud. That's crazy, man. Got this man bunny hop. Oh, billionaire make you jump for it, huh? <laughs> man. Go back to the first clip. Why did clip solid? Why did not mute it out? Oh, well, we take a team. Hey, Hop Speak, because you got your air in tennis. You right? You keep going. Count out loud. Count out loud. Huh? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. How many times are you going to do it, me? That nigga tell you to jump in the river, you going to do that too, huh? So, jump because that nigga a billionaire. You gonna do whatever he say? Oh, oh, he must be paying you, or so he must be in a high position. So if you don't do what he say, something may happen. That's the reason why. But nigga, you look like a damn fool. What? Four, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. Keep up. Keep going. Eight, nine, four, <laughs> two. Keep going. <laughs> I ain't trying to keep pausing, but when they say they should have never gave you niggas money, yeah, it's a prime example right here. And I fuck with me, me, I fuck with music. Well, at least it old shit, but man, me, me, I ain't know you would be like this, my nigga. When I first heard you came out, shit, I ain't thought you would come to this, my nigga. That's crazy. Keep going. Don't cheat on your buddy hops. They suck. Your buddy hops suck. You got 250 more to show your face. Show your face, please. Oh, but I know what I've been doing. Academics, then I tell you to stop playing with my name. I don't know what I'm going to do when I actually see you. Look, it's going to have a combination to it, though. Me. I seen you punch my boy. You don't look like you a good punch. You don't look like you good at it. You don't look like you you got no good stance neither. But really, I ain't even got anything to say. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah. No, 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 no. 2024, but it for surely, for surely, if anything, it's been crazy. Right? Um, as y'all know, all shall be revealed, and it's a lot of things that's coming out, man. And recently, you got your boy DJ Academics and Meek Mill going back and forth with each other over these Diddy allegations. Now, for y'all that don't know what's going on, Rodney Jones, who was an ex-producer, you know, as he produced records for Diddy and Bad Boy and that whole situation back in the days, he came out with a lawsuit. In this lawsuit, he is suing Diddy for, for wages that he didn't receive, money that he didn't receive, and also some intimate allegations. So within that lawsuit... What, what, what intimate allegation? What? I 
think it's like a 73 or 75 page, no, 73 page lawsuit. And within so that, he said, so cut this bunny hopping fake gangster sh out. You a reform nigga or you a killer until you shoot a video in front of Dean House. I don't want to see this on social media. You wild and trying to promote your wax song. Okay. And then he'll meet me or response. Give me, get me his Abby. No, 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 no. That, no, that's DJ Academic responding to meet me. He actually pointed out somebody that he. Give me his Abby. I'm going to shoot for a production music video in front of his house. Just make sure you do it. Don't do it in the front yard. He, <laughs> you got to right to bear arms if you in the front yard. Knows, or he's saying he knows for sure, allegedly, a rapper that Diddy was messing with. Now, he didn't say a name. He didn't name no names. However, the description that he gave of the rapper was very, very specific. And it's one of those situations where it's like, I'm not going to point, but I'm going to point my elbows. I'm not going to point with my fingers, but I'm going to point with my elbows. You know, we used to do that in school. Um, he made the description so specific that it gave up exactly who it was or who it is allegedly. Now, he said that the rapper dated Nicki Minaj and um, he's from Philadelphia. Let's be real. Who dated Nicki Minaj and who's from Philadelphia? You know, so the meet whole me. internet is in the up. Okay, what did he say? Meet me. I promise you nobody in the rap game envies you. Nigga, you got dropped from Atlanta. Then you heard Zex. We're planning against you, nigga. You flat out just fell the fuck off. Who you think you is? The room's conspiring. Like, let's try to stop me, me. We are jealous. You. <laughs> I hate to say it, but he, I ain't gonna say he just fell off. But when it comes to the music, he ain't where he used to be at. He, no, not with the fame. But shit, he going to me, me or Nick. Uproar from that, you know, you got people digging up old tweets, old kind of suspect tweets of Meek Mill, uh, pictures of him and Diddy, and it, they pretty much saying it makes sense. Now, of course, DJ Academics being who he is, who he's a blogger, you know, he go live Man, almost every night no talking about me. current topics that's trending. Who would it say Rodney Jones playing to Sean Combs? Okay, I guess that's his staff or defendant. Oh, he's a defendant. Well, playing to. And that's one of the things that was trending. Now, at first, he was talking about um, Young Miami, a.k.a. Carisha, and he brought up old tweets about her being on a private island with Diddy. Now, for y'all that don't know, you know, Diddy is also suspected of being on private islands, doing things with ex- Man, Diddy always doing some wild shit, man. So, somebody tell me what Diddy didn't do. Tell me what that man didn't do. Tell me what- Z, and y'all just do your homework on the situation. However- Meek Mill decided to wake Allegedly. up, like he said, and attack DJ Academics for pretty much putting it on a broad scale and talking about it. Now, here's my thing. I don't understand why Meek Mill would be, you know, upset at DJ Academics because at the end of the day, he's not the one that put it out there. Right? According to the lawsuit, according to these pages, according to... That's what I'm saying. You mad at me. I mean, me, Meek Mill mad at Academics. He need to be mad at the people that put it out. That let you know he might be somewhere. I ain't going to say he did it, but you can feel somewhere guilty. But he always going to academic, though. The, whatever. It was Rodney Jones. He's the one that put this lawsuit together. He's the one that put whatever it is in the lawsuit. And he's a legend that this rapper that Diddy was messing with is a man from Philly and also dated Nicki. He said the day a nigga used a gay room and beefing with a blogger to promote a song is when I realized the game is too crazy for me. I'm going to pray for me. He got to be back. Man, if he doing all this to promote a song, my nigga. Cut it out. Just come out with good music. The music going to speak for itself. Minaj. Who's the man from Philly that dated Nicki Minaj? So it's clear as day. So at the end of the day, if he have any type of frustrations, I think it should be geared towards Rodney Jones or his camp. Not DJ Academics. That's like one of us talking about it and he getting mad at us and we're not the ones that put it in the lawsuit. Yep, you right. <laughs> you get mad at the nigga on the sideline. They get mad at the coach. You know, so it was a lot of tweets. As y'all know, I just got the tweets in the background of this video. Y'all can just look at it, stop it. It's a lot of tweets. I couldn't sit there and read the whole thing, and I'm not going to try, but I left it in the back. Give me his ad. I'm going to shoot the full proof. 
Oh, we are racing. Ground. I'm going to leave it playing so y'all can check out the tweets. And as I'm talking, y'all can just read it or whatever the case may be. Now, I want to talk about a few things that make a lot of sense and some things that don't add up. What Meek Mill is failing to realize, a lot of things that he did in the past, whether it's tweets on social media or some weird stuff with Mike Rubin, who knows, right? But one thing you can't sit here and deny is the fact that a lot of things has been suspect. Yeah. And you know, DJ Academics being who he yeah, is. it's way too suspect, even if he ain't did nothing, which I don't believe. It's like it's way too much stuff out there, way too many clues. <laughs> He's just gonna exploit it. And that's exactly what he's doing. And it seems like Meek is mad at DJ Academics. But let me tell y'all what's going on with Meek right now. I feel like Meek Mill is one of those rappers that he did have a buzz and he was somebody at a point in time. And it seems like he's still trying to keep that flame. Like he feel like he still got it when in all actuality, he really don't. You know, so he's still not, I'm not going to say he's trying to fight to be relevant because Meek Mill is a dope rapper. But I think sometimes in his head, he may be more bigger than he actually is. And you know, there's no disrespect. Every you know what happened to a lot of rappers? They think they still popping. <laughs> so they realize it, not, it may not be now, it may be later on. But they go re they realize they know it they sell. Hey man, fuck that. Them niggas know what's up. That's why they doing what they doing. That's why they in the head lines trying to, <laughs> you know, get all this attention. Because they know what's up. I ain't even finna see any bullshit. Everybody's supposed to feel like they're somebody. Everybody's supposed to feel like they're the ones. But sometimes you gotta know when to like kind of cool it. Now, when it comes to Diddy and um, Meek Mill, I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. I did a whole video on it already with the Rodney Jones and Diddy situation where Meek Mill was involved. I'm gonna upload it after this, but I really don't know what's going on. Rodney Jones is the one that put Meek Mill into this whole ordeal. So all his frustration and whatever he got, anger, should be geared towards him. But now my question is, why would Ronnie... Okay, so Andrew Tate, so P. Diddy will have a six with Meek Mill and Usher. Oh, this is what Andrew Tate said. Then Meek Mill responds, said, well, was you sex trafficking women the fuck? What's wrong with you, Bodie? <laughs> hey, Meek. Are you gonna talk about that man sex trafficking women? I thought you were street. You don't talk about shit like that. You don't talk about, you know, well, not street shit. Cause that ain't, I'm just saying, you follow the street law. Why, why you why you saying something about that? It's an ongoing case, I guess. And with him, that he got going on, you talking about it like that? Okay, everybody coming at your neck, now you mad? Hell no. Jones single Meek Mill out. Then now, you know what's happening? People start going back to those videos where Diddy is calling Meek Mill daddy while he's in the pool. <laughs> Diddy's sitting there taking pictures with french fries on his leg while he's in the pool. Meek Mill. He got french fry. French fry. Got the burger sitting on top of his head. Got the milkshake pouring down his back. <laughs> all right, all right, let me stop. And, and Diddy is sitting there with matching shirts at a party. Now, that let me tell you, if it's... <laughs> If there's no other thing that makes things a little suspects when it comes to this whole situation, it's that picture right there. Because let me tell you, no grown man, I don't care who you are, no grown man should be sitting there wearing matching silk shirts with another mm -mm. man. Mm -mm. I mean, what, like, what was the mm -mm, not that. Nope. correlation? What was the, like, what was the talks about that? Like, did they say, yo, we, we about to go in there with matching silk shirts out of everybody? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why Meek and Diddy know? Why they have the same? What he's about to say? You gonna, you mean to tell me that you two are sitting there with matching? Okay, I gave you talk about Meek and yeah, Meek and Diddy. Why y'all got to say matching shirts? How y'all even get together to even talk about that? What the nigga call you something like, hey, hey, my nigga, I'm finna wear this silk shirt. I want you to wear one too. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Silk shirts, why? You know, that that's one of the things that don't make sense. And not to mention DJ Academics, he kind of, he did kind of exploit something that I've been saying for the longest, right? Aside from the whole intimate allegations with Diddy. On a serious note, he said that Meek Mill tend to have such negative energy towards his own, but when it comes to them other guys, and by other, you know exactly what I mean. When it comes to them, he kind of acts different. He don't have the same energy. Yeah, you want to know why? Because some of them, what? <laughs> the ones that, 
<laughs> that's over him. They paying him. Yeah. If he don't do what they say, he gonna get that. Again. <laughs> and rightfully so because we already spoke about that on this channel before that whole bunny hop situation the video it kind of rubbed me the wrong way now one person may look at it and be like well you know he lost a bet he's just no you know he's just doing bunny hops but you know the problem i have Ain't no grown man bunny hopping for dells i mean i don't care what type of bed it is i'm not doing it but that is let's be real do y'all think any rapper any rapper you know would be able to sit there and tell meek mill Yo, listen, do bunny hop. Yeah, get your ass over here. Yeah, do this and do that. Who do you know that Meek is going to allow to record him doing bunny hops, talking to him like that? And it's not just Meek Mill. It's a lot of these guys in the industry. And what they say, that's why I always come around these industry niggas with my real friends. You never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold a convo without my dog stepping in the room. It's been that way. I can't see y'all find out I'm the illest in this shit. Or you can't be in there by yourself. What, what you basically say? You by yourself. You 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 vulnerable. Or so you can't you can't take the pressure by yourself. You can't be riding on people by yourself. You trying to tell us something, meek? <laughs> what they violating you or something? <laughs> that why you gotta have them niggas around. You saying you gotta have your homeboys around? It for a reason. This is why people sit there and they come up with the quote unquote conspiracy theories. Because it feel like some people have more power than others to be able to do certain things to other people that they wouldn't allow from other people. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way I could say it, you know, without being, you know. But um, with this whole situation with Meek Mill and um, Diddy, it is a little weird. I'm not going to lie, it's strange. When I see Meek... Okay, when Meek Mill say, bitch-ass nigga ain't going to play no games with me. They trying to do the damage control the same thing. thing. They almost... Spell right, they almost tricked y'all with little baby. <laughs> yeah, little baby, that look a little sus too, little baby. But yeah, me, you don't have the same energy with Mike Rubin. You don't have the same energy with that dude. You be friendly as hell when you around him, my nigga. Mills, name, well, his name wasn't in it. The description itself is telling. Now, Meek thing is, well, they're trying to do damage control. They're just trying to do what they did to Lil Baby with me, with the whole Mike Rubin situation with Baby. Now, let me tell y'all one and, thing. And hold on. Don't bring Lil Baby in this situation. Nigga, handle your own beef, nigga. Stop. Don't bring other niggas in your situation. I hate niggas like that. Well, what about him? What about the other nigga, nigga? We, we talking about you, nigga. We ain't talking about them. I'm not saying Baby and Mike Rubin got anything going on. Who knows? That picture where... Little baby is sandwiched between the other guy and the other guy. Come on. What other rapper or what? Yeah, you right. What other rapper you finna let? You think little baby gonna let somebody like 21 Savage grab him from the back like that? A little dirt? No, nigga. Them niggas controlled. As much as I fuck with little baby, it ain't no denying other regular person from the hood you think is going to be able to do that to little baby no that like that's just the thing that's what i think the people are trying to say it's not so much as it can't happen well to be honest with you i'm not letting no two men sandwich me in between them but that's just me I, you know i don't know anybody else's preference but if you do go like that then just come out but don't sit here to say that's the initiation you had to get down that probably how that probably the intro and try to justify it and make other people look crazy for pointing out the obvious you know so that's pretty much it <laughs> we gonna have to see what meek mill comes with and another thing if they willing to do do that on camera imagine when they doing off camera i don't even want to know right now meek is just saying that it's all damage control he wants to see the um Not me, he wants me. to see the actual lawsuits because maybe the blogs is just trying to make a fool are uh, they just trying to put him in it and you know to meek's defense we do see this happen a lot you know that industry come with a lot when you when you stop messing with a certain label we say meek gotta really be on drugs though nigga i've been on the chill nigga dean and half of philly drove to my studio trying to expose that nigga in the interview i turned the interview down off the strength of 21 7 you tried to patch up some stuff with me and him before 
I ain't know about that. You no, know, he was dry from Atlantic. You know, once you stop messing with certain labels or, or stop messing with certain people, let's just say that strange things do start to happen to these independent artists who decide not to go that way or go with the agenda. You know, I'm trying to keep it as general as possible, but y'all know what I'm talking about. We seen it with Tory Lanez, Prince. We seen it. Me don't talk to no nigga for feeling like how he try to talk to me. That's why I can't respect him. He bunny hop for the white man. Act like he above niggas who from his own city, but got killer energy for a blogger. Nigga, we stop believe. I ain't gonna lie, you know how it is with certain niggas, man. Niggas know who and who not to play with. Yeah, me. You know who and who not to play that shit with. I wonder he had that same energy for ARL. Nope. Nah, to that extent, he ain't calling no bitch ass nigga like that. He showed sure damn ain't gonna see it to his face. I don't believe so, man. As much as I fuck with me, me, I, I, I don't know. I just don't believe he gangster like that. Not saying being gangster is a good thing. It just. Anyway, with a couple people. You know, so what I'm saying is, I get what Meek is saying, but it's a lot of things that's making him look, you know, not too good in this situation. That pool incident where Diddy was calling him daddy is one thing, <laughs> you know, and it's not just Meek. I don't know, because that's, remember when Diddy was doing the same thing to Fab and Fab didn't pretty much say anything when he was with Nori and Jadakiss? Like I said, I don't know. I do kind of got an idea, but I don't want y'all to think I'm getting too conspiracy theory-ish. So I'm not going to say it, but for the ones that know, they know what's going on. Diddy is somebody in that industry and it just is what it is. You know, so like I said, I got the tweets in the background. This all this stupid nigga had to tweet coming on here trying to be for me to sell the record like I made this shit. Feeling I don't do coke or freak ass money. Nobody won't ever offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man, whatever. Mm, about gay activity and the whole you get flipped. Woke up seeing it, whatever. Whatever the Ritz say. Y'all can check it out. Y'all can stop it, pause it, do whatever you want. No, but y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. How do y'all feel about the lawsuit coming out saying that did he actually engage in intimate, you know, situations with a rapper from Philadelphia that went? Well, I guess it's the end of the video. Well, how I feel about it. Well, the information came out. A lawsuit came out. I ain't gonna have no lawsuit when they had these lawyers and stuff. So, yeah, meet me. <laughs> You say you got some explaining to do, but yeah, you saying you street this and that. Yeah, nigga, explain this shit. And Diddy, I ain't got to say nothing about freak ass Diddy, man. Like, we already know what's up with that nigga. <laughs> and all that shit, man. Like DJ Academics. We know he and Meek Mill been having problems for years going back and forth. But, shoot, other than that, man, that's all I got for you niggas today. <sighs> that's all, people. Have a wonderful day.